Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we will talk about general steps to reset your car's throttle control and also discuss specific steps for Ford, Toyota, Dodge, BMW, and Mercedes models. Here's how to do it. General steps. Please keep in mind that these are general steps that will work for most cars. The exact steps may vary depending on your vehicle's model and make. First, park your car in a safe area and power off all accessories. Shut down the engine and eject the key from the ignition. Pump the hood open and locate the battery. Identify the battery's negative terminal. Next, use a wrench to loosen the nut holding the negative terminal cable in place. Disconnect the negative cable carefully and secure it away from the battery. This prevents the cable from accidentally reconnecting to the battery leading to shorting off. Let your car sit while disconnected for about 5 to 10 minutes. This will give your vehicle ample time to dissipate any accumulated charge in its electrical system. With no charge in the system, the engine control module ECM, will be reset, clearing any learned idle settings in the process. Afterward, reconnect the negative cable to the battery terminal. Use the wrench to tighten the nut ensuring the cable is correctly secured. Close the hood and get inside the car. Insert the key in the ignition and switch to the on position without starting the engine. Wait for about 10 seconds before switching it off. Then wait another 10 seconds. Repeat this on and off cycle two to three times, waiting for about 10 seconds each time before switching. Start the engine and let it idle for about three minutes. Check the throttle response to see if the check ETC light is on the dashboard. Take your car for a test drive and try accelerating and decelerating several times to check that the throttle control is functioning correctly. Model specific procedures. 1. Ford. For many Ford models, after reconnecting the negative cable to the battery, start the vehicle without starting the engine and wait until the warning disappears on the driver's dashboard. Next, engage the full ignition to start the engine and let your Ford idle for at least 10 minutes. Initially, the idle will be high, but gradually lower as the engine warms up. Let the engine idle for 5 more minutes as the PCM, power control module, adjusts the idle. Finally, take a drive while accelerating and decelerating at different speeds to allow the PCM to learn the new shift positions. 2. Toyota if your vehicle is an automatic Toyota, follow the general steps as they are. However, press the accelerator down for 10 seconds after switching the car to the on position without starting the engine. Next, switch the vehicle off for another 10 seconds. Repeat this for 2-3 to three cycles, then finish the remaining steps. 3. Dodge After reconnecting the battery for a Dodge, Start the car and let it idle without touching the accelerator for a few minutes. Next, drive your car at moderate speeds, increasing the speed gradually while monitoring the response. The engine should perform smoothly. Otherwise, repeat the reset procedure a couple of times. If there is no charge, consult a professional mechanic. 4. BMW For most modern BMWs, tip during the reset procedure, do not touch the brake as you would start the car. Get in your BMW and put the key fob in its place. If you use a key, turn the ignition to the on position without starting the engine. Push the start stop button. Put your foot on the accelerator and push it all the way down, then hold for about 30 seconds. While your foot is still on the accelerator, push the start stop button again. Slowly release the accelerator and wait for about 2 minutes. Finally, start your car normally. 5. Mercedes For a Mercedes, switch everything off and close all doors. Turn the ignition on without starting the engine. Press the accelerator for 5 to 10 seconds. Turn the car off with your foot still pushing the accelerator, but don't remove the key. Slowly release the accelerator. Wait for 2-5 to five minutes before starting your car and taking it for a drive. Refer to your car's manual for instructions on how to perform specific steps. If the problem persists or the warning light is still on, 
get in touch with a professional mechanic for further diagnosis. Thanks for watching.